Today, let's talk about pitch. Now, it's important to remember that nowadays, what you hear on the radio is more often than not put through a filter to make every pitch perfect. It wasn't that long ago that singers, even really famous singers, they were a little pitchy and we were fine with it. Our ears didn't even care unless you were one of those people with perfect pitch. You know what I'm saying. Now, for some people, they're they're called tone deaf. They can't tell where pitches are whatsoever. We can talk about that a little bit later. But for people that have good relative pitch, that's who I'm really addressing right now. Now, just remember, let's let's keep it real for you guys. Um, you are not built like this instrument. If everything else is in tune, we're gonna be in the pitch no matter what because all of our strings are in tune and we're within the frets and we're playing the chord correctly, not a problem, right? Our voices are more akin to a violin where there are no frets. You learn that muscle memory of where those pitches are and then you, and then you play the violin and you find where that works consistently. That, that happens over time, okay? So just the same, your voice, as you work on pitch, as you work on where pitches lie, your voice through what you are thinking will just translate through to your voice, okay? So don't get hung up if you have a couple of bad pitches in a song. Those things can be corrected. The way that you correct them is what I said before. You just slow it down, you break it down, and then you find those pitches. And the more that you find them and sing them correctly, the easier it will be for you later on to fix them and to know where they are. You don't pick up a violin and you just start playing and you're just a master violinist. The same thing with a voice, it's a skill, you do have to work on it. It's something that comes as you repetitively go through either a song or what you're trying to do. So there's a couple of apps I just wanna tell you about that can help you on your journey. One is called ClearTune. ClearTune's great because not only will it uh, help you find pitches, right? So let's, like if I'm trying to figure out where a G is, I can sing it or what I can do, and it's trying to tell me I'm closer to E, I can have it play a pitch for me. So let's go to G or to E and I'll have it play it for me. That's pretty low, you can't hear it. Now those were all E pitches, but they were octaves apart. That is clear tune. That can really help you if you're trying to search for a pitch. And especially if a song is within a certain key, you can use that. The other one though that you can use is called Intonia. I sang a little bit earlier and recorded it. And here you can see when you're on pitch, uh, it's going to be white. When you're a little bit uh, close to the pitch, it'll be blue. And when you're quite flat or sharp, it'll be red. So uh, if you have a vibrato, what it's going to do is uh, it'll be white at the top of your pitch if you are on pitch, okay? So because vibrato, you're, you're like this, you should always be hitting the pitch at the top of that vibrato. And at the bottom of that vibrato, you're gonna be, of course, under pitch. And it's the same for violinists. When they do vibrato, they don't go over the pitch when they're playing the note. They're slightly under and they're rocking towards the pitch. And that's the way that it works. And that's how our ears like to hear the pitch when there's a vibrato. It's just the way that it works. Um, so I would highly suggest Intonia and clear tune for when you are trying to find your pitches. And just remember like, let's say you're, you're trying to sing something and you're just really flubbing it up and you just keep singing it fast, fast, fast. Sometimes flat pitches have to do with um, that you're not kind of greasing the wheels of your voice. You're not going over it slowly so that your, your voice gets used to it. Kind of like if I wanna have fast fingers, I can't just run up and down the fretboard and hope to hit the pitches. No, I slowly have to go through and then I just keep doing it. And the more I keep doing it, the faster I can go. Your voice is the same way. So, okay, that's your vocal lesson for today. Pitch is something that you can work on and you can get better at. And so don't worry, okay? Just if you pick a song, go over it, slow it down on the hard parts, and then you'll get there, okay? Just be patient with yourself. All right, guys, God bless you, and 